Hello, I'm Manoj, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'll be showing you how to resolve an access denied error for list objects v2 operation while running the AWS S3 sync command to copy objects to or from an Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket. Let's get started. Let's start with the basics about AWS S3 Sync command. When you run the AWS S3 Sync command, Amazon S3 issues the following API calls, list objects v2, copy object, get object, and put object. As a result, the following events happen. Amazon S3 lists the source and destination to check whether the object exists, Amazon S3 then performs the following API calls. Copy object call for a bucket to bucket operation. Get object for a bucket to local operation. Put object for a local to bucket operation. Note that this resolution assumes that the get object and put object calls are already granted to the AWS Identity and Access Management user or role. This resolution addresses how to resolve the access denied error caused by improper list bucket permissions or using incorrect sync command syntax with requester pace. Let's look at the first scenario, starting by configuring the IAM policy. Verify that the IAM role or user has the permissions for S3 list bucket on the Amazon S3 buckets that you are copying objects to or from. S3 list bucket is the name of the permission that allows a user to list the objects in a bucket and list objects v2 is the name of the API call that lists the objects in a bucket. The following is an example IAM policy that grants access to S3 list bucket. The following is an example bucket policy that grants the user, Manoj test user, access to S3 list bucket. Some important points to consider. If your IAM user or role belong to another AWS account, then check whether your IAM and bucket policy permit the S3 list bucket action. You must have permission to S3 list bucket on both your IAM policy and bucket policy. If your user or role belongs to the bucket owner's account, then you don't need both the IAM and bucket policies to allow S3 list bucket. You need only one of them to allow the action. If either the IAM policy or bucket policy already allow the S3 list bucket action, then check the other policy for statements that explicitly deny the action. An explicit deny statement overrides an allow statement. Now, let's look at a second scenario. Using the sync command with requester pace, if your bucket belongs to another AWS account and has requester pace enabled. Then, for example, when using the sync command, you must include the hyphen hyphen requester payer requester option. Otherwise, you receive an access denied error. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.